Mabuhay Toy Collectors! It's Pinoy Toy Geek once again and today we are unboxing and reviewing another action figure from the Justice League New 52 by DC Collectibles. And today we are looking at the Flash action figure. As we all know, uh, this is the new standard packaging for all DC collectible figures which uses a white background and color coordination with the character's dominant color scheme. So uh, here is a 360 degree view and we'll pause for a bit while I take this figure out of the box. And we're back. You are now looking at the actual figure fresh from the box. Now the new Flash uh, figure is based on the designs of Jim Lee and story by Jeff Johns. This figure is sculpted by Jack Matthews and this one really came out very awesome in terms of details and paint job. The Flash stands at 7 inches tall and it is a good representation of the New 52 costume which is very true to Jim Lee's art style. Now let's take a closer look on each details. This figure has a very nice head sculpt with a little smirk on Flash facial expression. I think this gives the impression of the very funny and comedic personality that he has. I really like the aerodynamically designed earpieces on the Flash's head. The red overall costume is painted flat to give contrast to the shiny metallic yellow paint over the lightning bolts that surrounds his costume. The red overall also shows a lot of electric seams that runs all over which in the comic book lights up with electricity when the flash is running at super speed. I also like the raised chest emblem showing the sleek uh, bolt insignia over the inner silvery white background. The boots are painted shiny metallic yellow with intricately, intric intricately etched uh, details which suggest electricity and movement. The paint job is very smooth and clean. So far, I don't see any overspray or messy areas. There are two things in this figure that are a disappointment to me. First is the lightning belt which meets in the middle that creates a wide V-shape which is reminiscent of Wally West's costume and not of Barry Allen because Barry Allen's belt is a continuous straight lightning bolt, not the V1. Second is the hand sculpt. The right hand is open while the left hand is sculpted with all the fingers pointed out, which is great if he is in a running pose, but because articulation is limited, so this left hand really looks awkward. And now, speaking of articulation, this figure only has a ball jointed neck, a ball jointed shoulder, the, bicep, uh, the bicep swivel the elbow joint articulation, the hip joint articulation, and lastly the knee joint articulation. And that's it. So if you're expecting to post this figure in a running pose, be ready to be disappointed. I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible, you just have to be very creative. So uh, overall, the lack of articulation is overruled by great details and sculpting. So if you're a fan of the New 52, this will be a great addition to your Justice League team lineup. And I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, if you think my review is helpful, just click the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow my collection on Facebook. Just type in www.facebook.com slash PinoyToyGeek. So once again, this is Pinoy Toy Geek saying mabuhay toy collectors. Have a great one. Bye. Bye.